Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talk about if error with VLOOKUP function. So today, we are moving into another powerful function in an Excel, which is called left, right and midward function. Okay, let's take a look at three very simple function, very similar function, but very powerful function. It deals with what? The test based operation. Take a look at an example that I have here. This is called left, right, and what mid function worksheet. And the example that I have set up here, we have got a simple little table on the word on the left, which are what the product description, the product name, color, and what the retail price. And then on the right. Here we have got a breakdown of all the product description. Okay, the first three character, which is what GTA, hmm, um, represent the what the supply ID. Okay, and the middle one here zero zero four what represent what the store number, and the word last two, which is what the LT what represent what the word product now i could do this manually and i am sure some of us must have done this before have you ever thought to break up a value of some test value into separate pieces you know what i'm about to do that now but occasionally i want to break it up into eating individual pieces so that i can work with it independently to achieve this i have to use the word the z left right and both made function these are three very powerful functions but very simple function that we can use inside of a z to help in separating this value and their positional function however i need to find data that is on the left hand side of the cell i need to find data that is on on the right hand side of the cell also i need to find data that is a please in the world in the middle of the sets in the other world i have got these three very simple function to do this hmm? which is what the left right and mid function take a look at how i'm going to do that right now okay i will do the supply id first note that the supply id is on the world on the left while the store is on the middle while the product to the wall is on the wall the right okay fine so first step is to click on what on the cell okay in my own case i'm going to select what the cell f5 then i will go up to my formula tab right here you can see it's up here okay fine then move to text okay and the, there's a whole lot of text based function from the drop down list then i'm going to find what the left okay and give it a click fine this open up our argument window box where we need to go to input certain information needed so the first argument is what the test mm, the test is um, is required or mandated to be filled in the argument window because is the original text string mm? original text string or character which we can we have to extract from the word the data okay the not chart here here is defined the number of character which we wish to extract from one, the test string so whether gta 04 or lt okay fine so note that the left and the right function are almost identical the only different there is that uh, is the position whether the data you are looking for is on the left all right or it's on the, whether it's in the or whether it is on the right side of the cell or whether the but both basically both of them they are still the same okay so first step is that i need to know where the test is in the first argument field in my own case i'm already inside the world this cell f5 okay right here so i'm going to grab the, the test from the world the product description right here okay okay sorry okay right here okay fine so that's on my that in my test argument window fine for the num chart this is the number of characters that i want to get from that cell on the on the left 
hand side yeah? okay i want to get three characters that is the the hpa which is what the supplier id with test so i'm going to type three inside the word the non chart okay and eat on what okay button that is it super simple where is the test start right here which is x you can see so how many characters do i want from the left which is three that is spa okay and here is the word this is spa okay fine on the word on the left side of the word the supply height is here okay fine hope you grab that guys but let's do the word the product code right here okay let me ask a question here where is the product code at is it on the left hmm? Side of the table is it on the middle hmm? or is it on the right hand side of them? Yeah, it is on the right side of the table, so I'll give it a click. Okay, that is so which is what they say H5. Then I will go up to my to my formula tab, which is right here. Then the text, okay. You can see now and select right from the wall test based function from the drop down list this open up our function argument window where we need to put in some certain information needed okay fine um again i'm going to grab the test from the wall the product description again here which is what done that then that is my test for the norm chart right here this is the number of character that is that i want to get from that cell on that right hand side okay fine yes we want to get to we want to get to which is what lp which is what the product code okay so now i'm going to type two inside what the norm chart okay then and it on what okay button that is that is it it extracts the data out positionally okay is it on the left or on the right or how many characters do you actually want from the left or from the right hand, hand side of the wall of the table right here okay fine the next one is what is the middle character fine this is where it gets a little bit tricky okay although not so difficult to do but still simple however we need to get something from the middle okay i need to get three characters from the middle which is what one two two right here which is with the middle character right here and to do this i'm going to click on what the cell g5 then navigate to what to my Take, uh, to my formula tab right up here then to the then click on what test and this time i'm going to find the mid from the word the drop down list okay here is the mid now and this open up our function argument window where we need to input certain information in the fine this one is a little bit different from the the left and the uh, and the right function we did earlier the first argument is a test okay remember that my test is inside the word this uh, a5 and i'm going to give it a click okay now the second argument which is what the start norm now for the mid function we need to find data somewhere in the middle okay where the mid function start on the left okay so so first we need to know how many characters do we want to move from the left so that we can get somewhere in the in the middle okay, fine well for us we are going to go count the character from the left okay you can let's say spa that is three right but we need to get started from this number one here that's it which is what the store number okay to make it four character now i'm going to type four right here and the okay good then quick notes 
if you look at the bottom here okay if you look at the bottom here which says that start number is the position of the false character you want to extract okay okay fine now and the my first position of the first character is what which is one the spa which is what one right then which is um then if i count spa one two three making what three character okay and then one that follows it is counted as one and making it four character and therefore we we have to type four in the start number here the third argument which is what the num chart how many characters do i want from the store number okay i want to get the middle three okay i want to get the middle three which is what one two two mm -hmm. so i'm going to type in three right here in the num chart box and it's a what okay button you can see that is it one two two for the uh, for the store number extracted how spa which is what the what the supply id one two two which is what for the store number and the lp which is what the product code really simple very efficient function and very powerful function this function is very useful when you have you have always done typing code from store or inventory or any functional department of codes manually or retyping values based on something else instead of giving yourself a lot of tasks or headache get a z to do it for you so try it out try to try this out thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving you more of the z function bye